mind reading, more specifically, uh, psychological manipulation, reading of body language, and some other cool stuff that looks like mind reading, but isn't. Mm, from a young age, I've always had a, an interest in hypnosis and psychology. And after I became a qualified psychologist, I started to use those skills and techniques to give the illusion of mind reading. I'd then get asked to do parties and events, and it kind of snowballed from there. Oh, it's hard to put an exact figure on it, but it must be coming up to a decade now, which I'd say puts it firmly in the category of career, rather than messing about not getting a real job. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way, um, but if you're in a shop and you can spot when someone's lying to you, it does give you the advantage when you're trying to get the best deal, so I guess it kind of does have its perks. On the whole though, I'd say that I tend to respect the privacy of people that I meet on the street, um, and unless they specifically say to me, will you read my mind? I've got more sense than to read my wife's mind. She'd kill me. Uh, my friends and family, yeah, I mean, they've seen a lot of what I do, so, uh, you know, I, we tend to talk about just regular nonsense when we see each other and put the world to rights and stuff like that. Unless I'm trying something new out, uh, but then they don't really know that I'm doing anything on them. I kind of just get in there and, uh, and mess with their heads. Sure, um, go and watch my very popular video, Playing With Minds. It's in the video section, so go and watch it right now.